Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my review for The Crudes, which is a brand new DreamWorks animated film. And if you do not know, this actually did not come out yet. This actually comes out on Friday, this, up, this upcoming Friday, and today's Sunday. The reason why I saw it and I'm reviewing it is because there was an early screening at my local Regal Theater. They were showing it for, you know, free for everybody, 3D, and I saw it. And uh, there was a lot of kids. My head hurts because I was sitting right in the front row and I had to stretch my neck up and look at that screen. But I did it just because I wanted to do this review. And also I really wanted to see it because I, I love animated films. And this one looked really good to me. And I love DreamWorks. So, what did I think of The Crudes? Well, we have to talk about the story, so let's talk about the story. The story for The Crudes follows The Crudes, which is a family of cavemen and women led by Grug, who is the father of the group, uh, and also played by Nicolas Cage. You always follow Nicolas Cage, I don't care what he does. He's a god among men, but uh, even when he's only doing voices. But anyway, his character, of course, is the, is the one where he tells his family, he wants to lead his family, he wants to keep them safe, and the only way to do that is to keep them in the cave, because, of course, they're cavemen. So they stay in the cave, they only leave once in a while just to go get food and water, but then they go back into the cave for, like, weeks, and then they go out and do it again. They are survivalists, well, he is, and he pretty much forces them to be survivalists, too, uh, until one day where one of the family members, played by Emma Stone, um, decides, you know what, she wants more out of life. She does. She wants to go and have adventure, find new things. She decides to leave the cave when it's dark and, you know, everybody's asleep. And she finds a dude named Guy, that's his name, uh, na uh, played by Ryan Reynolds. And he's, like, creating fire. You know, he's that, he's that dude that he's smart, he has ideas. And, of course, um, <laughs> Emma Stone wants to go with him because he has a safe place to go because he knows that the end is coming, the end of the world, uh, you know friggin' meteor, um, and <laughs> she decides to go with him, and of course the family has to go because their cave actually gets destroyed by a big friggin' earthquake, and they have to go with him to find, of course, a new place to live, a new cave to live in, and throughout their adventure, they'll, you know, come in contact with a bunch of stuff. Of course, cavemen will come in contact with, with you know, like, wheels and, you know, fire and all that stuff. You know, that cavemen stuff. And for the most part, it is a really entertaining film. And it does a really good job of having a lot of cavemen jokes and I ideas out there that aren't, you know, typical stuff. You know, when, when you think of cavemen, and if they're going to make a joke out of it, then of course they're going to make a joke about fire and wheels and stuff like that. And sure, they do make a big joke about fire, but I'll admit it was pretty funny. Uh, but they never really make jokes about wheels, which I was a little disappointed about. But, um, I really liked the comedy in this film. I thought it was really physical humor. Whenever it was actually telling a joke, it wasn't that funny. But physical humor... It was great. And sure, the movie story is pretty, you know, typical animated fare that we've seen plenty of times before. But you know what? The cavemen as characters, um, the atmosphere, the environment that they're in, all the creatures that uh, inhabit the, the world is very interesting to see. The animation is spectacular in this film. So good, but I'll get to that later. But really, it is a very entertaining film to watch. Sure, it does have the generic stuff, the typical things, like hell, I even mentioned the, the character that wants more out of his or her life you know we've seen that so many times probably like five times in the last couple years but you know what it works here because of what the setting is the characters who they are it's really really funny really entertaining sure the writing itself isn't amazing but I really enjoyed the comedy uh, the acting the voice acting was fantastic especially from Nicolas Cage who we have not seen in a movie or even heard in a movie in a you know not a long time I'm sorry haven't been he hasn't been good in a very long time and he is great in this film I think he did a damn good job of Grug uh, that sure there's plenty of times where he you know he goes to his typical insane Nicolas Cage voice and stuff but uh, it really does work for the character it works for the comedy and he, he does a damn good job here Emma Stone Ryan Reynolds uh, Catherine Keener plays the mom uh, Clark Duke plays the dumb uh, son of the care uh, of the family. Uh, you have Cloris Leachman who plays the grandma. Uh, everybody does a great job here. Really, really entertaining voice acting all the way through. And like I said, the animation in this is beautiful. It is, and it's just so breathtaking to see some of these scenes. There's one scene where the 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 crudes just like look over a horizon and see this huge, huge, vast beautiful looking world that they've never seen before and it's so jaw-dropping especially in 3d because I did get to see this in 3d the 3d here is really damn good and pops 
perfectly and makes the animation even better. And if I had to say anything that's a problem with the animation, and this is a problem with some animated movies that look amazing too, whenever they put like a real close up with light bursting right in their face like fire or something. You can tell it's kind of fake looking, but besides that, it's an amazing looking film. A lot of fun little action scenes here and there where the cavemen, of course, are trying to get food or fighting an animal or something like that. It's a lot of fun throughout the film. It's short, it's an animated film, so you expect that, but it's a lot of fun. The characters are likable. Uh, the movie itself is pretty damn funny with its physical humor. Not so much with the writings, but, you know, physical humor, it's really good. But it's, you know, typical animated fare story-wise, but the characters definitely help it out. Um, so overall, I think The Croods here is a damn good film. Definitely go check it out when it comes out Friday. I really enjoyed it. Seeing it in 3D, the 3D was really good in this film. Um, I'm going to give it a... 36 out of a 40, my favorite animated movie of this year. I'm pretty sure it's the only animated movie I saw this year, but whatever, it's still my favorite. So, there you go. The Crudes, definitely go check it out when it comes out. Thank you, and goodbye.